So this segment is about using the navigator and acquiring from multiple points automatically. And uh, so let's start with some concepts about the navigator. So what it's it's a module that keeps track of the position and other properties for three different kinds of items. They're called items, so that's the term. Um, there's the point, which is a single position, uh, and it can be marked in a variety of ways. <clears throat> uh, polygon is a set of connected points, and it's marked by drawing or laying down a series of points on an image. And a map is an image from a known stage location stored in a known file location and with known acquisition parameters. Now the positions are all kept track of as stage coordinates in the navigator, but they're a little bit modified because for one thing, the current image shift is converted to a stage offset when a new position is recorded so that it's just all consolidated into one stage position to be gotten back to um, using the stage. Now once you have built up some items in your uh, navigator table, <clears throat> you will start to see that all the items overlapping an image, no matter where, where the image comes from, um, will, whether it's a map or not, will be drawn on the image. And points will be a little cross and polygons will be a polygon and maps will be represented by a rectangle and they'll all have their, their number in the middle for the number of the item. Actually, it's the label of the item. So let's go ahead now and look at the dialog. Four basic components of the dialog. First, there's the table of items. And um, so it's a bit cryptic. You can read the help about what, are, what all these things stand for. Obviously, we have maps and points and polygons uh, and the stage position. Um, but there are some other secret codes that show up uh, in various places that are helpful once you know what they are. Um, now, whichever item is selected and highlighted, whoops, oh no. Yes, whichever item is selected and highlighted is the current item, and the upper part of the table of the dialog shows the properties of the current item. One property here is this label, which you can modify. That's what shows up on the screen. So it's very, uh, what shows up in the, uh, on top of the image. So it's very short, um, but it shows up here. And you can also write longer notes. Uh, this next section here, small section, is just general navigator controls, such as draw no nothing um, that's shown. And then on the left is a selected set of navigator operations. Hopefully the most important ones have on buttons and we can always decide that something is really not needed there and move something else in if we want. Um, not you, but uh, we collectively could decide that and I could change the program to be that way. Now, there's a lot of other operations in the navigator menu and it even has a submenu. So how can we record positions? <clears throat> there's several different ways. Um, there's this simple add stage position. We'll make an item at the current stage position. The add points is much more frequently used uh, on any image uh, that has a known stage position and magnification. You can just say add points and then mark down multiple points on that image. Add polygon is similar, but then you add a single polygon. And there's several other ways to add points and groups of points in the montaging and grids submenu. Um, several functions for going to points. We go to X, Y, go to X, Y, Z. And um, they go to the center position of an item, center of a map or center of a polygon. Um, and also very handy is that you can click at an image, it leaves that little green cross, and then you use go to marker, and it moves there without making an item. You'll see that used a lot in the demos. Now we have um, issues about maps. How do we make, uh, well, what are maps? Well, I said they were images that it knew all about. And many maps are montages. Um, and you can, of course, make a montage, as I just showed you earlier, where you say two by three frames and take the montage. 
But in addition, Navigator lets you set up montage parameters for making maps in three different ways. You can record a set of points one way or another um, and mark them all as corner points. You can actually draw a polygon on one image. And in both of those cases, it will fit the um, montage at your current magnification, or you can select the magnification after you open the, the montage parameters. It will fit the montage to the polygon described by the corners or the, or the polygon. And the other option is to take a whole grid map, where there can be limits set there in the property file to keep the stage from going beyond good places. Or you can actually set your own limits if you know that you don't want to go quite so far in your grid maps. These montages, unlike the regular rectangular ones, can skip unneeded pieces that are outside of the defined area. <clears throat> um, so once you have an image that's been saved, either a montage which is automatically saved or a um, single image that you save to file, then you can push new map and it makes a map out of that. And the way to get a map back in to the read buffer is you push load map here, or you just double click on the entry in the table. Right. OK, now we're going to go and see our first video. And <clears throat> I have a six-step procedure for making sure the sound comes through.